How do you buy a house during the COVID-19 effect going on in the world? Well, here in the East Bay, one way to buy a house is just using all the technology that's around. One thing that I think this COVID-19 thing did to the market and to the economy is it actually sparked a, a fire under all the technology that was around that nobody was really using. And now they're forced to being used. And that's how buyers are buying houses right now. You are actually able to sit on your couch and virtually walk through properties with a 3D camera. They kind of matter ports, they have a bunch of other cameras that are specifically uh, that you're able to kind of just walk around, see the 3D pictures. And they've had this technology, it's been around. We have already used this in our listings uh, before the COVID-19, but that's just one way that people are being forced to be able to buy houses is sight unseen. They have eased restrictions here in the East Bay to where you could literally see occupied houses starting May 3rd. And what happened was we weren't able to show occupied houses. So that's just another amount of inventory that's gonna be hitting the market that weren't around. So those are some properties that we could go take a look at. The rule is though, only two people at a time can view the property plus the agent and no sellers could be inside of the house. And then the same thing with vacant homes, we can't have more than two people. So the thing is you could virtually shop for homes online, which you are already doing through Zillow and all these other sites that are out there. Uh, the thing is you could still write an offer, a site unseen. Let's say that there's a house that you just know the area, you know, the, you like the pictures and you know that this is the type of home that you're going to want to buy. Let's say you write an offer, then you could do inspections and physically go take a look at it. Everything is done electronically. All the signatures, you don't have to be there in person. You don't have to meet at an office to sign stuff. Everything's done through electronic, all the banking, all the loan information, everything is transferred uh, electronically through emails and you can scan things over, electronically sign everything. You can literally buy a house virtually without even stepping foot inside the house. But it, I think that it is a little difficult to buy a house sight unseen, but I have done it. I'm helping one of my buyers right now purchase a house and we wrote an offer before they actually physically seen it. We did a FaceTime. Uh, another way to do it is a FaceTime uh, virtual showing where they didn't see the house. I was walking through the home and we were doing FaceTime with our phones. They were sitting on the couch in their living room, checking out the house. And that's one way that they were able to see it. We wrote the offer. We were still, there were still multiple offers on this home and we still had to use the same techniques on you know, writing a competitive offer and we got it. And then we did inspections and then they were physically able to see it just with the new rules that are in effect. So yes, you could still buy a house right now during COVID-19. There's just new rules that you have to go by. And who knows, I think each week that goes by, maybe after this next extension, um, we'll see some more rules ease up and it's just gonna go back to normal, but that's kind of how you buy a home during COVID-19. Right now is a perfect opportunity to be able to take advantage of houses that have been sitting on the market that have not sold, or maybe check out deals that were, take, that were temporarily uh, taken off the market because of the COVID-19, they weren't getting activity, but guess what? I bet you those sellers still wanna sell and there's a way to access those houses that were temporarily withdrawn uh, after the COVID-19 thing happened and there's a way for you to offer to get accepted, which means there's no other buyers looking at those houses. So lots of different considerations, but buy a house now if it makes sense for you. If you could own rather than rent and pay less each month, that might be that opportunity to where you are no longer renting and you become a homeowner.